Welcome to an Origin of Energy training clip for Paradises Online. So today I'm doing a workout using one of these waterproof uh, bags that they use for snorkeling and scuba diving and kayaking or whatever. You can get them pretty much anywhere in Thailand if you're anywhere near the coast. They hassle to sell, you, sell them to you everywhere. But uh, these are quite good to use in reverse. So what I've done, I've put water in it uh, to use it as a weight and that way you can control the amount of water that you've got in there to control the amount of weight to vary the workout. So what I'm doing is just going to do a clean and swing ladder today. So I'm going to do a clean and press each side, left and right arm, and then a swing. And I'm going to go as high as I can. One, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six. This is more of an endurance style workout. If you wanted to make it into a muscle development style workout, then what you would do is just do kind of eight to 12 of each of them with about a 30 second rest in between. And then just do as much volume as you can do in around 20 to 30 minutes. But what I'm gonna do here is just do the clean one each arm and then a swing and then do two each arm, two swings and then go up. So if I was using a timer, I'd go up for 10 minutes as high as I could handle and then come back down. Or you could train with a training partner. So myself and Oya could train and we have two of these so that way you don't have to change your water. Um, you'd have to be pretty quick in changing the water if you were doing it because you've got to undo it. So let's have a look at the technique for it. So here, just doing a high pull with one arm would be the easy version of the cleaning. So just grabbing on, and you could use any bag for this, it doesn't have to be one of these. So these were kind of cool to use as a training tool. Then from there you just corkscrew it at the top, or wrap it onto the shoulder. Wrapping it, then from there to do the press, you just pop it off the shoulder and pop it up over here. So that's pretty simple. Then with the swing and just grabbing the top of it as a handle, and then just popping the hips like that. So if that was 2 2, then I go 3. Three, if I was just doing the clean, if I was doing the clean press, pressing it up overhead. Makes it a bit harder. And then three swings. So it's a constant workout. Normally workouts like that, endurance style, I only do them once a week, maybe even once every two weeks. If I find it's hard for me to keep muscle mass on my body and I'm losing weight, which is often what happens if I ever train or don't eat enough, uh, then I probably won't even do any endurance workouts. Whereas some people, if they're struggling to lose weight, they can add a few more endurance workouts in, provided it's not stressing them too much. So if you find it's leaving you a bit fatigued, run down, susceptible to colds, flus, and stuff like that, then it's not good. Just a little tip while you're <laughs> traveling. Uh, I've got here, and you know, just the heat factor alone is quite stressful on the body, and you've got to stay hydrated. And then the humidity is just constantly, you know, drawing moisture from your body, sweating all the time. And then also uh, getting sunburnt, doing a hard workout, and eating food that you're not used to isn't a good mix. <laughs> on the third day, I think it was the third day, I suffered pretty badly. <laughs> I had to have a, a day of rest in bed. Uh, just from just from all those factors coming together and then if you couple that with not having good air conditioning and then not getting good sleep and sweating all night and getting dehydrated doing that so the carbs came in handy just so you know coconut um, uh, pineapple and mango frappes were quite good and refreshing and then just getting all those electrolytes from um, good salt but then also the other thing I did have was some of just those um, uh, just those packs for when you're dehydrated and that fix me up pretty quick but yeah you don't want to get run down when you're traveling it's not good because it just leaves you a little bit more susceptible to picking up bugs and, and stomach bugs when you're traveling aren't fun so it's not good to spend your holiday painting the toilets it's much better to be training or enjoying this beautiful weather and getting outside and swimming and enjoying the environment so see you next time 
have fun. Keep it safe, keep it fun. Ciao.